And welcome to a very special tutorial video with me was a keen I seem to be look at me I seem to be I seem to be in a different costume more about that later you'll see you'll see why I'm in this costume later anyway back to what I'm here for you see this funny little block in front of me yes I do Adam good because that funny little block is a turtle and it comes from an amazing uh, mod called computercraft edu that is a free mod and what I want to do is today I want to show you how to install it for yourself so what I'm going to do is I, if I right click this I get this little uh, remote control bit uh, up, up and running here and I can actually program my turtle by dragging in um, in here okay, so move forward one move forward another one I can even click these and go and then turn left and then and then move back and then turn right and then move forward okay and uh, and then I could just press play let's close that down I could just press uh, let's open this up I can press pl uh, play on that bink like this play and off it trots it does its own little thing you can program it to do all sorts of things it even has a kind of arguments you know so you can kind of say if there is a block of sand in front of you, dig that box. So you can go do all sorts of stuff. It's a great first way into programming and I'm gonna be playing, doing a let's play of it very shortly with Django as well. He is seven years old. So we're gonna be basically doing a series of challenges to help us understand how to program things uh, and also hopefully to teach you how to do it as well. At the same time, having a ton of fun. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I've got a, uh, I've got a, uh, oh, I'm a bit, a bit laggy. I've got a uh, an online world that we can kind of experiment with too, and I'll be showing everybody how to do that too. But first things first, how do we install this thing in the first place? Well, there's a couple of easy ways and a couple of hard ways. So as normally, I'm going to show you the easy way of doing it. So let's just uh, save and quit the title there. And we'll go to uh, the Computercraft EDU website. Up there, you can see computercraftedu.com, uh, and it says, "What is it?" You can kind of scroll down, down here, and very helpfully, it says, "I'm a teacher, I'm a parent, I'm a player, I'm a parent." Well, I'm a parent actually, so I click that, and it tells, it says, "Minecraft is the perfect way to engage with your children, exploring the world and creating and buildings, uh, uh, creating and buildings. Your imagination is the only boundary. Imagine that." Uh, Computer Graph expands the world of Minecraft with programmable robots that are both youth useful and educational. It's an easy way to introduce your children to programming and maybe learn something new for yourself as well. So good. Have a copy of regular Minecraft if you don't yet have a copy. Download and install Computer Graph mod file. Start playing. This is the mod file. You click it. You download it. There it is. It's a little a, a little thing kind of downloads over there. I have to download another one. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, I don't like modding my version of Minecraft on my computer. It's over here. I don't like doing that because it, it, it messes up oh, uh, bits and bobs. So, I use something called MultiMC. Okay? So, MultiMC managing manage Minecraft instance with ease. Okay? So, you can download it for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Uh, I'm running Mac OS at the moment. I've also got a Windows PC upstairs, so you know it, it works on both. And what you can do is you can uh, you download this and install it, and it looks a bit like this. No, not like that. A bit like this. Let's close this down. Quick game there. Okay. So it looks a bit like this. Okay, this thing over here. You have to sign in with your account, and then you can create a new instance. Now what this means is it, it actually creates uh, its own file with Minecraft inside of it. Uh, so that's good because uh, it doesn't affect any other Minecrafts that are around on your system. And your vanilla Minecraft that's, uh, that's on your desktop or wherever you've got it, it leaves that be. It creates a bespoke version of Minecraft. So you can have lots of different types of mods running and things like that. And they don't interfere with each other because they're all separate. So I've got a computer graph one, I've got a pixel cam one. So let's Let's show you the. Let's do a tutorial one. So I'm going to add an instance. I'm going to call this uh, 
computer craft edu oops edu tutorial tutorial uh, it's not for 1.8 the version that we're looking for is actually 1.7.10 it's this one over here that's what computer craft runs in so find it over there and press OK okay so that's the version that you want and then press OK like that now we're going to need to uh, also now put forge on this okay so forge is a way of helping us mod our client okay so we're going to select the computer craft edu tutorial uh, instance that we've just created and I'm going to go to instant edit instances over here and this allows us to have loader mods resource packs all sorts of stuff uh, other settings as well so we can kind of you know have a, where the Java is how much memory it can have our game windows should we have it as set as a certain thing will it start maximized uh, any other custom commands that we want like that we can leave all that be, we'll go back to the version. Down here we want install forge. Now because it knows what version we've got, we, it, it automatically stars the version that we need. The best one for here will be this one here. Okay, so I'm gonna just press okay. Okay, and then and then close. So that's in, install that. Then I'm gonna run it for the first time. So just double, double click it. You must again be signed into your Minecraft account. Uh, that means that you've got you've you've bought Minecraft and, and you're allowed to play it. So it just loads up Minecraft like normal. There it is in the background. Uh, it's, it's Forge is installing itself. Uh, and what that's doing is kind of constructing its mods and things like that. And it's also making a little folder inside of Minecraft called mods. And we're going to put the computer craft thing that you just downloaded into that folder once we've run it once at least. Okay. Once we've run it once at least, it, that folder will have appeared. Okay. So don't do it yet. So I'm going to quit that game. Okay, back here. There it is. I'm going to go down to my instance folder. Click that. That opens up the instance folder. I'm going to. There's our Minecraft folder. Double click this. Inside of here is the mods folder that I just talked to you about. Double click that. Open that up. Now I'm going to find my the the, the file that I just downloaded. Okay, there it is. This file here. Pop it into my mods folder. Inside there. And that's it. Okay. Now I can just double click it, open it up, and we have now installed Computercraft EDU. Incredible, I know. Incredible, okay? And it, that, it's as easy as that. You haven't even touched your Minecraft version over here. That's all safe. Okay, so now we're running Minecraft EDU. It's loading it up, it takes a little bit of time. Okay, it's on my laptop. It's literally on my lap at the moment. It's a bit, my computer's getting a bit warm. Um, but no, nonetheless, it's fine. Uh, so yeah, do join me in next week, I think. I'm going to be starting this. And again, the challenges are going to be doing everything you would normally do in Minecraft. Punching trees, uh, building a base. Um, I've got a single player here. So again, no worlds in there because this is a new instance. Create a new world. Uh, we'll have it as uh, creative to start with. Create a new world like that. So it's going to create a new world for us. Uh, so doing all the things you'd normally do in Minecraft, except you can't touch anything. You've got to program your turtle to do all the things for you. Um, so let's just open this up to make sure it's all working. So there it all is. Press E to open my inventory. Pressing E. Uh, there's oh, a normal inventory, but there's tabs at the top. So if we click on the tab at the top, it goes across here. We can see we've got normal computer craft over here, and there's loads of things in there, which is quite interesting. But the computer craft EDU tab, is this one. We've got a beginner's turtle and a beginner mining turtle. So we can drag that down in here. You also need a turtle remote control. Uh, pop that down there. And then we just uh, we just sort of right click it to place it. And then uh, and then we right click the remote control. And that opens up our oh, that opened up our remote control. There we go. So then we can kind of uh, get our right click. <laughs> I'm not doing too well, am I? There we go. Uh, once we've got that, we can actually control it. We have a remote control. We can move it up as well. We can even turn it around and sort of get used to kind of what it looks like. We can even see what the turtle vision looks like as well. So there, there I am. You can see me. It's looking at me. Oh, it's looking at me. Move a bit forward. There it is. Okay. Uh, I wonder if we can move a step through program. Okay, cool. Undo the last thing. We can even, uh, let's get out of our turtle. We can even... Uh, customize our turtle make it look a little bit different put glasses on it 
make it look like a, a, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Hero Turtle, or even change the colour of the turtle itself as well. That's really kind of cool. Um, so, that's Minecraft EDU. It's a pretty neat program, and the kind of things it opens up to you is you know all that kind of juicy stuff all about um, you know thinking about computer programming, thinking about sequential thinking, uh, you know, and, and kind of and how to program. It's taking those first steps in a fun and interesting and imaginative way inside of Minecraft. So it's already engaging so many people and doing loads of problem solving and stuff like that. It is going to be so much fun. So do join us next week. Do like this. Do share around with loads of different people because some people it's a little bit intimidating to install this stuff. Uh, remember, it's just so, it's so easy to save and quit to title. There you go. Quick game. Okay, done. Okay, now I don't need that one because I've already installed one. So then if I just want to delete it, I just delete that instance and there we go. It's gone. But it's as simple as that. Okay, so thanks very much. If you've got any questions, do leave them in the comments below. Do hit the like button as well. Share it around with everybody you know too. And thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Thank you and goodbye.